The full text for question 8 appears in the, uh, in the description under this video. Okay, so last year the average age of online com consumers was 50. A sample of 16, so n equals 16, um, online consumers from a current year showed the average, the average of a sample is x bar. So x bar is 47.562. Okay, it is known from past data that the standard deviation of the age is 5. So sigma equals 5. Now, when we know the true sigma, okay, we know the true sigma, not just the sample standard deviation, it means I'm going to be using z. If I'm doing a confidence interval, it would be a z interval. If I'm doing testing, such as having a null and an alternative hypothesis, I'm going to be using the z-test. Okay, so we want to test if the null hypothesis of mu equals 50 against the alternative of mu is less than 50. Okay, so the way I would do this is I would find my p-value. To find my p-value, I'm going to use z-test in my calculator. To get there, I go to stat and then tests, and then my first option is z-test. Make sure the input is stats. Mu zero is the number from the null or alternative hypothesis. So this 50 is mu zero. Sigma is what is given to me as a standard deviation x bar here is 47.562, n is 16, and this last row I want to highlight what the alternative hypothesis looks like. The alternative looks like mu is less than mu zero, so I highlight and press enter over the less than mu zero, and then go to calculate. When I calculate, the number that follows the letter p is my p-value, so my p-value is 0 0.02 five, five, six, or about a 0.026. Okay, so with this p-value, we're asked to decide, to make conclusions on what's going on at the 0 0.05 level of significance and at the 0 0.005 level of significance. So what we do is we compare our p-value with the level of significances which are usually called alpha. So the first one at the 0 0.05 level of significance, the 0 0.05 is bigger, so we have a rule that says whenever the p-value is less than alpha, p-value less than alpha means I'm going to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. And when my um, and if I compare against the other alpha, the other level of significance, 0 0.026 and 0 0.005, now 0 0.026 is larger. Okay, so we have the rule that when the p-value is bigger than alpha, then I'm going to accept H0. Okay, so the answer is I'm going to reject the null hypothesis at the 0 0.05 level of significance, and I'm going to accept at the 0 0.005 level of significance. So with the choices that I have in this question, the answer is going to be D.